But how do you get to some of those other characters? Well, fortunately, they thought this through. When you click up here at the top, you just tap your finger, not click, just tap. You don't have to bring the pointer up there. It brings up all these other things. If you have F keys that you need to hit, if you want to hit tab, if you want to go up arrow, down arrow, notice how it's selecting different items over here when I hit the up arrow and down arrow. Uh, over here, escape, caps, page up, page down. So you have access to a lot of other keys that you might not have. Also the control, alt, and command keys as well are available there. <clears throat> Let me close that up. Okay, and close the keyboard. Now there is a button right here for command tab. I find these don't work quite well. The alt key on the Mac is what typically does the command key. It's, it's the alt key is what you have to do. So that might be a little helpful tip for you. I found it's kind of awkward to try to do things like uh, um, command P to print. I find it's better just to go slide the mouse up to the file menu and print. It's very easy with the finger just to slide it right across. It works very well. Now you can't watch videos on this. You notice how it was kind of a lag time for me moving that window across the screen. It's, you get like one per second little image and so if you're trying to watch a video it's going to come off very but it's not going to work. You want to use some other program like I mentioned that error video. That would be the way to go. Very smooth <laughs> way to access that because it's not trying to do the whole desktop screen and other applications. So this gives me a way to access Final Cut Pro, access Microsoft Office to go in and edit a document. I can even access Google Docs through a browser because it runs Flash um, and, and JavaScripts. Uh, anything that can run on my PC, I can basically access from here. I'm not technically running it on it. I'm having all of that being done on a computer somewhere else. And this just gives me the ability to access it. It is secure on their website. They have a nice little information about their security that they've got for it. It is very encrypted. It's either 128 or 2. Uh, 56 uh, kilobits uh, encryption um, and on their website for security they say nobody will be able to see or access the data transmitted between your computers not even us so it's very secure that's got to give you some comfort because you don't want somebody having full access to your computer to be able to launch stuff download install which is basically what you can do you can even switch users with this little program now, the web, even if you don't have an iPad, you might still be interested in Log Me In because they do have an app where you can access for like, like 70 bucks uh, a year. But if you have to manage and troubleshoot a, a lot of computers, it can be a real saver. This is great for me to be, be able to access the computer in my office or at home to be able to access my content, app, run applications, check on a file. Oh, I forgot to bring that file with me. Well, all I have to do with this is go log in there, find the file, send it as an attachment to my email, boom pop up my email and there's the file that I was looking for. So it's a great little program. I really like it. The only minus I have about it is you have to get access to the computer you want to do this to. And so if grandma lives in Hawaii and you live in New York, it's going to be a little hard for you to do it unless you give her your account and password. But since it is grandma, you can probably trust her with your account and password so you can access her computer to fix it for her. Um, so that's not probably a big minus at all. Anyway, it's a great little app. I really like it. It's $29.95 or $99, something like that, so it's like 30 bucks. But if you look at the cost of something like Apple Remote Desktop, which then only lets you access Macs, you can't access Windows computers, this can be uh, really nice. Uh, this could really, really be worth it. iPad apps do cost a bit more, but it's because it's more functional. It's like a real computer in a way, and that gives you greater functionality, so therefore a greater cost for the applications. So some people might balk at a $30 price, but this dummy proofs it. This makes it really simple to be able to do. You don't have to be a techie to be able to remote connect to another computer with this program. And once you pay the $30 fee, that's it. There's no other fees to pay, and you can just keep connecting to your computers ad nauseum. All right. Well, if you have any questions about Log Me In or uh, other tips that you want to share, please send them to me at questions at askthetechies.com. I love hearing from viewers. Uh, you guys are great, and I hope you're enjoying the show.